Look, <laughs> y'all got me the first time, but this free Britney movement, you can count me out of. For those of you who are wondering, oh my God, what is Emma about to yammer on and complain about today? <laughs> Let me fill you in. Oh my God, that is so loud. I'm so sorry. Um, today we are talking about the curious case of Brittany Griner, a famous WNBA player. <laughs> Did I just use famous and WNBA player in the same sentence? Hold up. Hold up. One of the more recognizable WMB play players, Brittany Griner, has been detained in a Russian jail prison. I don't know how it works over there. Since mid to early to mid February, I've seen dates saying the 10th. I've seen some dates saying as late as the 17th. However, it was about a week before the Russian and Ukrainian civil conflict started. For those of you who don't know, Brittany Griner was pop picked up in an airport with I two vape cartridges, I've seen 10. I, I don't know what the official number is, but she was carrying some vape cartridges with her with THC in them. And if you don't know, know now, Russia does not play when it comes to the chronic, okay? Because I think five to six grams is a felony there. <laughs> felony thinking to yourself Emma this story seems cut and dry what is there to complain about you know a U.S. athlete gets picked up in Russia and might do some time for it <laughs> that would make the most sense but no you guys know how the mainstream sports and news and entertainment media are and right now what the headlines are essentially saying is gay black marginalized poor Brittany Griner is being held illegally because she's gay black and a woman in russia which is a majority white and probably racist right like that's that's basically the fodder they're feeding us and today i really want to attack a lot of these false narratives that are painting me in this like hapless light and explain why it makes me so angry here's the first narrative that's pushing this kind of victim halo they're putting on britney that she's unlawfully detained. 153 nights now that BG has been wrongfully detained thousands of miles away from home. That is not true. That is objectively false. And it's intellectually dishonest for these journalists and honestly for these players who are giving these pre-written PR statements to say that because she wasn't unlawfully detained. And just because right now, in the eyes of a lot of the people in the world, pers Russia is persona non grata. So there almost seems to be this kind of like underlying current of, well, because we don't like them, like we could do whatever we want, right? Like in elementary school, I'm sure you guys all had teachers that were ops, right? Like <laughs> I was eight years old and they were hating on the kid. I still had to follow the rules in their classroom. The same goes with Brittany, right? And she knows that she's been playing overseas there for six years. Now I can't accuse these journalists and all these other publications and people of being intellectually dishonest and being so myself. Do I think there was a little bit more attention placed on Brittany by the Russian government because of the US-Russia <laughs> relations? Yes. Okay, it hasn't been good. Um, both sides view each other as the villain. So of course, if there's a civil conflict about to pop off with your neighbor that the US is funding, you're probably not gonna be as accommodating, right? <laughs> so no, she's not being illegally detained. Stop with that lie. So, <laughs> there seems to be a concerted effort to guilt people like you and I into feeling bad for not taking the story as seriously or caring about it as much as we would if, let's say, oh, I don't know, LeBron James, according to Britney's lawyers in her camp, were taken into you know custody, arrested, detained by a foreign government. Because Britney is a WNBA player, she's not as mainstream, she's not as popular, relevant, a lot less people care. And um, I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, um, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> Y'all finna jump me? Be honest. <laughs> And that's not to say the WNBA doesn't matter. I, well, personally, I don't think it does, but a lot less people care about it, right? And I knew Britney as being the really tall one that dunks, right? And got who got into a lot of domestic violence issues. She was suspended, and that's really a big reason she started playing in Russia, right? Like, so I'm not going to feel bad for not caring as much because if it was Simone Biles, if it was LeBron James, if it was Serena Williams... Patrick Mahomes, Mike Trout even, right? Like a lot more people would care because they're more visible to us, because they're more relevant. That doesn't make us bad people. So I've kind of seen this false narrative that Britney just had to go to Russia right before a civil conflict popped off. She needed to because her meager WNBA salary couldn't support her. She makes almost no money, she's poor. If she didn't go to Russia to play those games, she'd be on the street right now. And um, no. The WNBA season with playoffs and their finals included is a total of about five months. Brittany makes kind of on the upper end of the salary cap or minimums or whatever. She makes around $220 thousand dollars in five months you divide that by five you guys know how good i am with math not even a billion okay half of that 52 million dollars a year now that seems <laughs> you divide that by five and you get somewhere in the neighborhood of like forty four thousand dollars that's damn near the average American salary. So in one month, you're making what the average American makes in a year. How is that being underpaid? Especially when you're basically a tax write-up for the NBA. I broke this down in my other video. I'm sorry, but that, does, no. I haven't seen exact numbers, but there's estimates that she makes half a million to up to a million dollars playing for Russia, you know, for the other half of the year. So she, let's say conservatively, she bring, and that, I don't know if like she has endorsement deals, but let's say conservatively, conservatively, child, conservatively, she brings in $1.2 million a year. I mean, <laughs> it's lunacy. And that lunacy has gotten us to the point where she's on Time Magazine as some type of freedom fighter. Now, the US is legitimately proposing a swap. Brittany Griner for Victor Bot. Bot, I think. Whose nickname is legit. I'm not even joking about this. His nickname is the Merchant of Death. Does that even sound like a fair trade to you? Shout out Drizzy. It's ridiculous. It's also disingenuous to say Britney, because she's a WNBA star, not as relevant, isn't getting the attention she deserves. You know who isn't getting the attention they deserve? The other Marine or sailman who's been in Russia for around three to four years that I, I can't even remember his name. I looked it up several times. I can't even remember his name. We're also coming up on the anniversary of September 11th, but not that September, like the September of 11th last year, of when the Biden administration just decided to up and leave Afghanistan in a haphazard mission and officially left 200 American citizens who were translators and peacekeepers, okay? That's the official number, 200. But we all know how this works. It's probably double that. I, I would venture off and say triple that, right? No one remembers them. There's a lot of American citizens who are actual prisoners of war, who aren't idiots. The same people who are plastering this woman's name and face all over the place are the same people who are telling you no one's paying attention to it. It's like it's like a weird version of double speak. It's just not true. She's getting a lot of attention. This is probably more attention than she's ever received, you know, since her career started. And I don't want to be misinterpreted here. I don't want to see Brittany Griner rot in a Russian jail for like 10 years for some vape cartridges, right? I... 
marijuana isn't my vice. I don't smoke it. I think it stinks. It's However, I do think it's ridiculously I do think it's ridiculous to make it a controlled substance. But I am not the Russian Federation. I don't make those rules. But if I were going there, I would follow them, especially if there's about to be a violent conflict that's popping off. You have to be an idiot to not, if you were, <laughs> if you were conscious at that point in time this year, early January and February, you kind of saw this coming. So yeah, there's gonna be an extra target on your back. So as contradictory as it kind of sounds, <laughs> based on everything I said in this video, bring Brittany home. Not because she's innocent or some victim or anything like that, but I simply want her home so this story can go away. But honestly, now that I think about it, if we do get her home after trading her for the merchant of death, can you imagine how many like 2020 and like ESPN 30 for 30 specials there are gonna be on this? Like, <laughs> this story's never gonna go away, is it? Keep her in there.